Hey guys, Tyler here from GarageWarrior.com and I got a great question about stretching after workouts and the question was, what stretches do you recommend I do after all of my workouts? And they were asking a very general, broad question because ultimately the best stretches for you are the stretches of areas that are tight on you, right? Um, and, but let me just answer your question first because this might surprise you. What is the best stretch to do? I don't recommend stretching after workouts. And the reason why is when our body's all warm and toasty and then we go to do a stretch, we don't really affect the muscle length when our body goes back to cold. So what I mean by that is you stretch, you feel all loose during a workout. If you've ever done a big room yoga thing, you're like, wow, I'm so flexible right now. When your body gets cold again, you lose that flexibility. So you're essentially going through ranges of motion that you couldn't go through if your body was cold. And uh, oftentimes people have this sense of flexibility when they're in that heat, then they go into a cold environment, and that sense of flexibility is still there, and that's when they injure themselves. They say, oh, in the hot room, I can do the splits. And now they're dancing at the club, and they're kind of cold, they're not in the hot room, and they try to go to the splits, and they tear their groin muscle, <laughs> right? Okay, so I don't recommend stretching after workouts. I think it's a bad habit. I think the best time to stretch is first thing in the morning, in between workouts, or right before bed, okay? That's when I really feel stretching is best. And I think you should stretch the muscles that are the tightest on you. So you want to test your hamstrings, your calves, your quads and your hip flexors, see if those are tight. You want to test your hip rotators, your glute muscles, see if those are tight, right? And you want to test your spine. You want to test your sideways movement of the spine. You want to test your thoracic spine, your shoulder, how far you can open your chest, your chest muscles, your biceps, your triceps, your neck. and by testing each one of those groups and seeing which ones A, feel tight, and B, a uh, professional could help you with this, but look tight, right? Because, you know, if you can't lift your leg to 90 degrees in a lying hamstring stretch, then you have tight hamstrings, you should be stretching them, right? So you gotta go through that list of muscles and find out which ones lack range of motion, and then I would focus on one, two, or maybe three of those muscle groups, and I would focus hard. Right, like every day, I stretch these three muscle groups over and over again until your range of motion increases enough that you can go through the test again and then pick one, two, or three muscle groups and start stretching those. Because if you try to do everything at the same time, you're never gonna get it done, all right? So that's what I would do if I were to focus on maximizing my stretching. If you guys dig this video, click the like button right there. Help me spread the warrior message to more people like you so I can help them get flexible the right way. Thanks for watching.